Welcome to those joining us for the first time. Monica Oval in Canberra, a cool afternoon. Our umpires today, Matt Stevick, Matthew Nichols, and Jacob Mollison. And as Lee Colbert just told us, Craig Bird in for Eamon Buchanan and the late change for the Sydney Swans. It's a Melbourne home game, away from home. Sydney Swans with a majority of fans and Martin starting the ruck. Perfect palm down, but Davey just couldn't quite grab it. Little fumble, two fumbles early from him. O'Keefe, who's been in sparkling form. McVeigh, Jude Bolton. Coming off just a seven-kick game last week, Jude Bolton. Hoping for a That's big one. And Adam Goods, a little hands in the back free against him. Well, Carl Morton got the free kick there. Interesting matchup. Giving away a lot of weight there. Carl Morton on Adam Goods. Dual playing, Brownlow Millis. Been playing forward a bit too, Carl Morton. Kicked three goals last week against Geelong. There's no doubt they're experimenting a little bit, Wayne. They've got Stefan Martin in the ruck. But they've got a bit of a structure up forward line, which is good. We see Bate. They've got Miller and Newton also. And we talked about, or I just talked about, Jude Bolton only having seven kicks last week. Stefan Martin failed to get a kick against Geelong last week for the Demons. So he'll be hoping for a better performance today in the ruck against Jolly. Did okay there. Jude Bolton had two kicks in the first two minutes. Heads it wide. Bouncing ball. And the ball out of play in front of Clint Bartram and Luke Ablett. We talked about Liam Jarrah before the game. Marty Matten has got the job there on Jarrah today. The footy. Okay, right up the ball, guys. Here we go. Jolly and Martin wrestle. Martin wraps up Jolly. It's Jolly's free. Inexperience there from Stefan Martin. And one of the best ruckmen in the competition now, Darren Jolly. We'll have a chance to have a shot here. Well, he normally kicks, he loves his ground. He kicked four or five goals in the pre-season game here, and there's no doubt a show. So Michael O'Loughlin and Warnock have been at each other since the start of the game. There they are on screen. And that's normally of the defender's instigation. Not always, Dwayne. Yeah, but really? Probably most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Jolly from the 50, and it's long enough and straight enough. They get the first, the Swans. So Martin, an inexperienced Ruckman, against another one, Pike. And Paul Roo's doing the right thing there, really, giving Mike Pike an opportunity against Stefan Martin to do some Ruck work against a Ruckman he can beat. Whelan tries to knock it out. Davey from midair, straight to Moore. No one in the square. He goes all the way. Goal. Fantastic goal. Jared Moore. We won't count that as a bounce. That was a fall on a touch. He's Matt He's Matna. So Jude Bolton to Matna. O'Loughlin sets himself. Coming hard Rivers, but he left it behind. Trouble now. Slaps it to Moore. Caught Rivers. Ball up. Uh, Lee Colbert, uh, Liam Jarrah off the ground. Do uh, you think that's a little bit about what his opponent's doing? I don't think so, Pickers. I think he's just tired. He's, uh, <laughs> he's got all, hands on all fours at the moment, so just having a rest, the big fella. Yeah, thanks for that, Colby. <laughs> I'm with you. It might have been a okay. what don't you chase disciplinary action as McVeigh no it was. another goal. Demons on the ropes early here. Still a chance. The toe poke from Jarrah doesn't stay in for him. He's an excitement machine. He is, and, and Matt is playing a full back. So it'll be interesting to see whether Paul Roos, as we see here, the, the, the kick just didn't make the chest of Liam Jarrah. It's interesting to see whether Paul Roos keeps <laughs> Matt there at full back. He can even make a chest mark attempt look exciting. Maloney, toe poke, hallelujah! Melbourne get a goal. We'll edit that whole bit together when this <laughs> goes to air. Luckily we're not live. From the ball up. Jolly with the palm down, gets his own ball, runs it to half forward, gives it to Moore. Can they finish? O'Loughlin in the pocket, can't scout it, and we'll get a ball in. If the Sydney Swans midfielders go to school on Jesse White last week, all they did is kick the ball to space out in front of Jesse White, give him an opportunity because Jared Rivers is normally playing centre half back, and I think he's got him for leg speed, Jesse White and Rivers. Bird, hands to O'Keefe, brings like it that. back beautifully. Sydney Swans get the first of the second term. Free. Against Stefan Martin for oh, jumping into him. <laughs> no, but it's, under enormous pressure. If you're Mike Pike and you're new and you're a Canadian and <laughs> a guy like McVeigh calls for it, you give it. Goods. Not quite the mark. Carl Morton doing well on him. Gets it from McDonald. Slips it back inside 50. Oh. Jarrah! <laughs> Unbelievable! That was never his ball. 
whistle until it was. <laughs> we talked about how clean he is. He's as clean as a whistle. <laughs> and he's just stuck the one mid up and didn't even juggle it, really. Just a beautiful mark. Very sticky fingers. He's either got a lot of grip, though, on his hands. <laughs> Or he has just got beautiful control of that. He's got good hang time too. He's got great touch, great feel. He only needs to finish off. They've been pushing him right a bit here so far in this quarter. The kicks. Great hands, touch, feel. He's got instinct. And he's got a good shoe on him as well. Kicks the goal. Grundy. Back to Barlow, hits wide to Jolly, who can run on, see Stephen Martin come at him, took a half step, holds it up. Yeah. And again, they've got three players. Well, it was actually two. Jack. Two Sydney Swans players there. It was Miller, the half forwards, Pedart, had to come up and block that space where Barlow and Bird were. Doesn't decide to go for it, Kieran Jack. Passes off to Marty Matner. Doesn't get a chance to go at goal all that often. And at times... When you see a number of players in this area, sometimes you're better off playing in front of your direct opponent. With those numbers around, you, you force the Sydney player to kick the ball high, it gives someone else a chance to come third man in with a spoil. Normally accurate, it's kicked eight goals, three this year. It's long and it's strong. Lead out to 19. He slipped his way through the traffic nicely. Cooks takes them on, hands to Barlow. Dying stages, second Sorry. term. One on too one, strong. Jolly, too good for Warnock. You called it early pickers, and it was the kick. It was the kick that ended up getting the mark for Jolly. It was great use of strength. As soon as the ball was to Jolly's advantage, he had the, the height and the strength on Warnock. As you see, Barlow lower his eyes and just put it to Jolly's advantage. Not a lot Warnock could do there. Super kick. He's 105 kilos, Darren Jolly, as opposed to 95. So it's next to basically 10 kilos. Already got one for the afternoon. Now has two. Swans lead by 24. Picnics. Bit of a barbecue. Yeah. As they say. <laughs> Carnival atmosphere. <laughs> that Richie Benno. I think that was Tony <laughs> Craig. Okay. That was a, oh, good grab. Yes, he won. Well, he, he hasn't had the delivery to him today. Rivers has done a very good job. And Jesse White's only had the three disposals, but that's the first time I think the ball's been kicked to his advantage, whether on the lead or in a one-on-one -on -one situation, and just need to get some quality ball. But that was a super kick and look from Adam Goods. Well, you saw there Rivers was caught watching his opponent, not the ball, which meant that he got great body position, Jesse White. Now, he is a nice kick normally. So Melbourne's had all the play in the first four minutes of this third term. Haven't been able to make something of it. Strat down the other end, and Jesse White makes them pay, kicks the goal. Bruce, Davey, Cheney. He's down there mixing with the public, Lee Colbert. Just, uh, Jarrah. A bit of a chat with the people, the fans. Another one-handed reach at it. O'Keefe shoots it back, Grundy. Bartram slips in out of it, it gets really the well. kick. Demons have the numbers here. Johnson and Bruce, they're both there. Hands it up, the first gamer. Mike get his first goal. Jordy McKenzie well, we'll kicks kick. it long. Miller's marked the regardless. It'll be a free kick downfield. And it'll be from the goal line because it's a 50 metre penalty, isn't it? So yeah. downfield no, it's downfield, here. wherever it happens to. He marked the ball, Dwayne. If I had went right. through for a rush behind, Geordie would have got another kick. Well, he would have been better off Miller letting that go through, although he kicks the goal, and they get the goal regardless. Yeah. I, I think Adam Goods was in his right there because it's the first time he got a one-on-one -on, -one on Morton, who's got very well around the half-forward line. Reese just had to let go of the ball two steps earlier. So Dunn gets it from Jones. While the Swans argue, the Demons could have a shot here. Davey yeah. gets there and marks. Well, they've actually, if you're looking purely at the numbers, they're dominating this quarter. They've had 11 inside 50 entries to six. They've only got one goal for their trouble. That's the problem. So Aaron Davey needs to really go back and nail this goal. They go in under three goals. Sydney don't, to me, look like a side at the moment that can put them away. The Paul Roos won't, won't like the fact that Reese Shaw and Goods were having a little bit of a bloop. Team football. Massive kick this. Davey kicks it. Margin back to 16. 
Specs, Jude Bolton, a wobbler, off the hand of Ablett, back in, O'Keefe, he's been fantastic, tries to get this free, Ablett to Jolly from the pocket, it's bending, it's oh. bending, that's gold! <laughs> oh, the big fella. Yeah. Warnock. Yeah, I thought he was a bit stiff and played worse than that. I think he, I think he did as well, going by his reaction. Got his day to Still that. a chance here, the Swans, rolling ball to Watts, goal! They've nailed it! Good kick there from Bird, I think it was. And just in the stoppage, we see Adam Goods. Uh, his teammates there, we just have a look at the stoppage here. Ablett, McVay. McVay, very good. He's, he's kicked two goals from stoppages today. Wasn't quite sure it was in the stoppage, but it was an unbelievable bit of play there. Good shepherd there from Jesse White on Jared Rivers. So that the fact that Sydney kicking these two is not a great start. We'll give Nathan Jones a benefit of the doubt there. I know the handball wasn't great, but the initial slip when he gathered the ball, he just lost the footing with his right foot. Still a chance here, the Demons, but they don't seem to have the belief they did in the third term. Oh, Liam Jarrah fights effort. hard. Roberts Thompson tackled hard by Newton. Had prior opportunity according to the umpire. Well, the pressure's been good, and the one-on-one -on -one that Melbourne are playing today means you've got an even contribution of coverage, more importantly, all over the ground. So, very good tackle. That's the perfect tackle for the chicken Newton. wing. The perfect chicken wing tackle pickers. Well, it's very hard to get the ball out if someone's got your arm like that. Roberts Thompson on the mark. Michael Newton. Keep the one behind today, Dwayne. With Melbourne's chances in his hands. The bottom of the ladder right now, the Demons. Fremantle winning the Derby yesterday. Pushed them back to 16th. And they play their way off the bottom. Squeezes it in. Gives them hope. Oh. Stay there, stay there. Six minutes left. McDonald. 17 points the margin. The captain. The pass. Oh, Adam Goods waited there. And Whelan came through and barked. A lot of, lot of Sydney players looking around. And that's, that is my pet hate in football. And it has been for a number of years. The amount of free players around thinking, yes, I'll guard some space. You see the kick from James McDonald. We've got three or four Sydney players. There was only one player leading, and that was Whelan. A lot of Sydney players spectating in that situation. Players can see the scoreboard. 20 minutes on the clock there. Oh, and God. Whelan kicks the goal. They're two goals from the lead. We'll take yeah, this. Yes, good. And now, just Stephen Martin's getting back. He's going back to the goal spread, and that's actually the right option because he's kicking to the big man here, but just didn't hit it right. Gee, it was a look away kick. Well, jolly, jolly opponents definitely made a slide now with the rain. Especially given a behind would have put them 13 in front. Barlow gets a kick away just in time. Big oh, collision. Oh, Jude mate. Bolton, body on the line again. Again, eyes only for the ball. Wall one for his team here. Let's have a look at this from Bolton. Fade oh. over the top. Tempt of the spoil from Bate. What did Ross Stein say about Jude Bolton? He said he came into the game pretty, but he won't go out pretty. And it has been said that he might look like Jane, but he plays like Tarzan. Jude Bolton to put this one beyond doubt. From the 50. It's swing back. Come Here back. comes back. It's a leg break. Spectacular finish. The Swans will win. It's a Melbourne home game, but the Swans are home. Disappointing crowd of only 7,311. Here to see the Sydney Swans. 10 goals, 8.68. Defeat an inaccurate Melbourne. 6 14 50 skills letting the demons down again sydney swans in theory they can make the finals this year if they win their remaining five games but the reality is those five games four of them 
are against the top four teams in the competition. They have St Kilda next week, Sydney, then Richmond, but then Geelong, Collingwood and Brisbane, their final game of the year. So the Swans will miss the finals for the first time under Paul Roos. 